news break with yours truly. I'm the one and only. I go by the name of Mr. Taylor Farrell. How's everybody doing out there? Lil Baby, Lil Baby, Lil Baby. The dude that's currently got the number one album in the country. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at his Mr. Taylor Farrell. Uh, Lil Baby, as he does, press to promote his album, My Turn. So he's trying to run them second week numbers up. Lil Baby revealed in an interview, because he's been asked a lot. There have been rumors circulating about a potential beef with Offset uh, of the Migos. And the rumor is him and Offset got into it. Or Offset got into it with somebody from 4PF. I don't know if that's true. We did a video on it explaining the facts that are out in the atmosphere about the situation. Now, in regards to why there's no QC on Lil Baby's My Turn album, you got Moneybag on that bad boy. You got Thug on that bad boy. Uh, you got his new artist, 42 Dugs on that bad boy. Gunners on that bad boy. But no QC, as Lil Baby is on QC, quality control, noticeably missing Nobody, no Migos, no City Girls, no Lil Yachty, no one from QC on the album. He was asked about it in his recent interview with The Breakfast Club, and he admitted that it was legit a mistake. He said, damn, that's crazy. I unintentionally left all of my QC brothers off the tape. Uh, pretty much, him and the Migos don't make much music together because they are on different vibes. He said it's really tough for them to get into the studio at the same time at this point in their careers because they're all over the place moving around doing shows he went on to specifically talk about Lil Yachty of QC he said Lil Yachty is my man shout out to Yachty he was like the first person at QC to grab me under his wing on some rap shit but now I'm gone all the time so he kind of feel like I don't fuck with him like that but I really do it ain't that at all again so Lil Baby's letting us know the reason why there's no QC member on his tape has nothing to do with any situations with Offset or anything like that. He's actually denied that that's true. He said this is all about uh, the Migos moving around and him moving around going show to show. He just simply doesn't have the time anymore to do music with some of his favorites like he used to. He's mostly sending over verses. Now, I guess he could send over some music to the Migos and the Migos could send him some shit over, which is how most of the rappers do things nowadays. I'm guessing they just didn't get around to it this time. Do y'all believe what Lil Baby said? Let me know in the comment box below. He also says him and Yachty, they still tight for those wonders. Speaking of Lil Yachty, have you had the chance to check out Lil Yachty's new music video, Oprah's Bank Account? This is some of the most creative shit I've ever seen in quite some time in which Lil Yachty throws on a dress, puts on a wig, and acts like he's Oprah Winfrey. He's on the couch asking Dre some questions. He goes and does a sit down interview with the baby as well. They're both featured on the record. If you checked it out, it's the number one trending video on YouTube right now. Let me know what you think about Lil Yachty's new record, Oprah's Bank Account, and obviously comment on Lil Baby and what he said in the comment box below. I thank you guys so much for the time, love, support. Make sure you follow your boy on Instagram. At it's Mr. Taylor Farrell. I'm out. I came from nothing. But I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They tuned in. Tuned in. Tuned in. We locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. Watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV.